Councillor Mohammad Afzal was discussing Birmingham hosting the Commonwealth Games in 2022. Thousands of athletes from 72 nations around the world will descend on the Midlands City next summer for the huge sporting showcase. With more than 280 medal events, the Games will be the biggest multi-sport competition since the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. The Olympics, which were postponed until this year because of COVID-19, took place without fans present due to the risk of the spread of the virus in Japan. However, hundreds of thousands of people will be allowed to attend the Games in Birmingham to cheer on the athletes in person. As well as sport, the Lord Mayor, believes the Games will also exemplify the strength of the Commonwealth and the majority of countries' commitment to the Queen. He told Express.co.uk, I personally think that still, the bond of the Commonwealth is very strong, and I think the Games are also playing a part. But I think the Queen herself is very instrumental, she is loved by all Commonwealth countries. I think it is due to the popularity of the Queen that most of the countries still want to remain, in the Commonwealth. Obviously, even in this family, there is always one or two people who don't agree with the rest of the family. So, when we're talking about almost 60 countries, there is going to be one or two countries who are maybe feeling sometimes, a small minority in those countries maybe think, oh we don't want to be in the Commonwealth. But the majority in my view do. Mr. Afzal said he thinks that the Games will be popular in Birmingham, an ethnically diverse city with large populations from Commonwealth nations, including India and Pakistan. The mayor, who was born in Pakistan, settled in Birmingham in 1969 and has become the longest-serving Muslim councillor in the UK. He added, Frankly, I think it will be a good thing, welcoming other Commonwealth countries. Most of our citizens in Birmingham, they are from these Commonwealth countries, I am myself from Pakistan. There are some countries from the Asian subcontinent, so I think again it will be another extra player for people, at least they will have players in different games from their country of origin. So, the fixtures will also give an extra boost to the city and the citizens. The Commonwealth as it is known today was formalised in 1949 with its roots dating back to the British Empire. When the Queen succeeded her father King George VI as monarch upon his death in 1952, she was recognised by Commonwealth leaders as the new head of the association. The Queen is still the monarch for 15 countries outside the UK, which are known as Commonwealth realms.